What's the first thing you think of if I ask you if you have a crucial conversation that you've been avoiding at home or at work? Chances are you're using technology a little bit more than you know you should. The problem is that relationships and conversations are in dialogue. It's not a one-way street. There are five key ingredients to have a successful, crucial conversation. The first ingredient for any successful, crucial conversation is to start with heart. What that doesn't mean is venting your anger. What it does look like is setting up some sort of mutual goal, as small as it might be, that you know you share. Find something you can agree upon to start an opening for a conversation. Next, speak from the eye. Take responsibility only for yourself and your feelings. What that looks like in practice is saying something like, I feel disrespected when fill in the blank. As opposed to saying, you disrespect me when fill in the blank. What that does is it takes away the defensiveness that you'll cause in someone else. You're only taking responsibility for how you genuinely feel. Third, check for safety and make sure the conditions are right for you to have a successful conversation. So for example, you may show up already, but if your partner in conversation shows up and their kid lost their homework and they got lost in traffic, you may want to abort the conversation today and offer them up another time. Take the temperature of the room. Make sure the conditions are set for both of you to be able to successfully engage. The fourth ingredient has to do with being curious. Your job in this conversation is to find out something about the story on the other person's part and then repeat it to them so they feel heard. That can make all the difference. The final ingredient, and perhaps the spiciest, has to do with how to end the conversation because it's just as important as how you open it up. This is a process. You're not going to resolve everything. Go back to the mutual goal and be clear with one another as to what you've accomplished and what comes next.